Inflation surprised the upside in the September quarter. Headline CPI rose 1.3%, pushing the annual rate to 3.2%, up from 2.1% in June. This was stronger than both market consensus and Westpac's forecast of 1.1%. It is true, the unwinding of the energy rebates resulting in the surge in electricity prices had a lot to do with the jump in inflation. But this was not the only story in town. Core measures that exclude electricity also came in hot. The trim mean rose 1% in the quarter, lifting the annual pace to 3%. That's at the top of the RBA's target band of 2 to 3%, and well above their August forecast. To hit the RBA's end 2025 goal of 2.6% for core inflation, we need the December quarter print of just 0.2%. A very unlikely outcome. Perhaps more disturbing, the six-month annualised pace of the trim mean inflation, a measure of the current momentum in inflation, was 3.4% in September. Now that's well above the RBA's target band. There was also some additional pressure from administered prices, such as property rates and charges, water and sewage, childcare, pharmaceuticals, therapeutic appliances, and dental services. These price changes can be lumpy, as the government often adjusts any assistance and resets prices as at July 1. This is why the RBA often refers to the market services measure of inflation. And this one surprised on the upside, rising 1.3% versus our 0.9% nearcast. This measure includes services such as restaurants, hairdressers, financial and other household services. We do expect market services inflation to ease next year due to softening labour market and moderating wages growth. But this print reinforces the RBA's current concern that services inflation is stickier than expected. Also, the monthly CPI indicator rose 0.5% in September, with the annual inflation coming at 3.5%. Dwelling prices jumped 0.7%, the biggest monthly rise seen since November 2023, as builders raise prices and scale back discounts. It's interesting to note that the monthly trim mean measure is running at a more modest 2.8% through the year, suggesting that core inflation may already be starting to moderate. So, as Westpac Chief Economist Lucy Ellis notes, this CPI print rules out a November rate cut, but leaves the door open for an easing in 2026. We believe that this delay now increases the likelihood of more cuts next year from the RBA as it gets behind the softening curve of the economy. So, there are three key takeouts from the September quarter CPI. One, inflation came in hotter than expected. Two, there were some one-offs but the momentum in core inflation is stronger than we expected. And three, this has closed the door on any more rate cuts this year. But this delay could increase the chance of more rate cuts next year. We'll release a detailed bulletin later this week with updated forecasts. But for now, the September quarter CPI confirms inflation is running hotter than expected and the risks to our near-term outlook are clearly tilted to the upside. Stay tuned for more insights from the Westpac economics team. The content of this recording is informational and of general nature only and is not intended to constitute a research report or reflect any recommendation or financial advice. It has been prepared without taking into account your objectives, financial situation or needs and investment decisions should not be based on it. You should obtain your own independent advice before proceeding with any investment decision. Whilst every effort has been taken to ensure that the contents are correct and any opinions, forecasts, conclusions are reasonably held based on information at the date of recording, Westpac does not make any representation or warranty as to the accuracy or completeness of the statements or information contained in this recording, and any liability therefore is expressly disclaimed to the extent permitted by law. None of the material included in this recording should be copied, published or reproduced in whole or in part without the prior written permission of Westpac.